Hey everyone, what's going on? Steven back here again today with Super Bruce 91 Today I'm bringing you guys a bit of an older gameplay. This is actually an older gameplay off my hard drive that I still have saved up. I never actually did use it in my one of my YouTube videos though. So, hope you guys enjoy this little free-for-all gameplay I got here. It is a 30 and 1, so near flawless gameplay. Almost got a chem strike, but I failed it. So anyways, hope you guys do enjoy the gameplay in the background. As you guys know, um, this coming Tuesday, the new DLC does come out, which is called Onslaught, which introduces all new multiplayer maps, a new gun, and stuff like that. So, make sure on Tuesday, guys, January the 28th, make sure you guys just check in on my channel, and I will have video of the new weapon, the sniper rifle, and the assault rifle up here on my channel, of course, on the DLC maps. Now, for those of you interested in actually buying the DLC, do remember that it's only on the Xbox services currently. So, it's not going to be on the PS4 or PS3 or PC yet. It's only for the Xbox 360 and the Xbox One. Now, this DLC should be released about a month's time later for the um, other consoles. So, look forward to that if you guys don't have any Xbox consoles. Now, as for the new Sniper and the Assault Rifle, it's going to be called the Maverick from what I understand. And if you guys go check out the Call of Duty Ghost channel, um, you'll find that there is two new trailers, actually one new trailer, for this DLC pack, which does actually uh, kind of give you a little bit of gameplay with these weapons. And the Assault Rifle actually looks kind of unique. It has unique iron sights, and none like we've ever seen really before. And the Sniper Rifle looks kind of like a VKS type, type of thing. It's a semi-auto, it's not, it's not a uh, bolt-action Sniper Rifle like the USR, like the L119 I think it's called. So there's a bolt action sniper rifle built into that, and there is the assault rifle, of course. There's two different guns, so you got to keep that in mind when you're choosing which one you want to use on first day of DLC. As for tomorrow, guys, I will be uploading a um, a weird news series, which is pretty much just some interesting news stories that I find on the internet, and I'll post them in the in the description below, the links to them. As I just kind of think, I think that some of the stories are funny, and I think they're just kind of cool to share with you guys. And um, after that, I do have a three-day weekend away from school, so I should be uploading about every single day on my channel, starting Friday. Now, to just end this little gameplay here, I, I have about another three minutes left. Um, for some free-for-all tips that you'll see that I'm using in this gameplay here, um, for free-for-all guys, you don't want to rush around too much because um, you'll, be, you'll be too vulnerable at certain points. So what you'll see me doing in this gameplay is just kind of holding down a certain area for a while. I kind of broke that rule just now, but you'll see that I do kind of return back to this general area, this general vicinity, and I take over this building each time that I spawn back in. Now, this goes for every single map I feel in Free For All, so what I just advise you guys to do in Free For All, no matter what map it is, you gotta find a good vantage point or a good system, a good building somewhere that you can hold down that has good enemy traffic for one, and for two, that you can actually hold down by yourself. Whether you use stuff like IEDs or whatever you may want to use to help you back yourself up in terms of staircases, that's up to you. You'll see in this gameplay, I did not use any sort of lethals or anything to help back me up like claymores, IEDs, anything like that I did not use because I just held down this building by myself. But whatever it does take to get you guys to hold down a certain area of the map, that's what I recommend doing in Free For All. Because free for all is not about running around and just killing everybody. The spawns in free for all are too, you know, they're, they're just too unpredictable. That to the point where if you run around, you're gonna kill somebody, and they're gonna spawn right behind your back. The spawns in free for all are really not good. So you gotta learn how to kind of stick towards the same area of the map. Not necessarily camp, but you just gotta learn that you know running around is not gonna get the job done in free for all most of the time as um, the spawns are just too unpredictable and you never really know what to expect when running around a game of free-for-all it just kind of aimlessly now if you want to use a suppressed weapon that's also a good idea but here's the thing about free-for-all free-for-all guys since you have no teammates you can't really rely on anybody else to help you out of course now if you do not choose to use a suppressor on your gun you gotta be aware that people are gonna be more apt to follow you or come to you so it's really up to you if you want to be drawing a lot of attention from enemies, you should really just take off the suppressor because in free for all, that is the main goal is to kill your enemies. And by shooting your gun, that's going to be like, "Hey, look at that red dot over there." And people are going to gravitate or comes towards you. And that means you could possibly get more kills in a quicker succession, quicker rate, whatever you want to say. So, in in essence, not using a suppressor can help you out in the long run too. 
but being suppressed just makes it so they that they don't see you quite as easily. But anyways, I hope you guys kind of enjoyed this little tips video on how to play free for all, or at least how to help play free for all. So if you guys did enjoy the tips, make sure you guys leave a like, comment, and subscribe. I thank you guys for watching the video. Hope to see you in the next video tomorrow. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you later.